this device tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. <laughs> Somewhere around here, there's also a device. <coughs> Sorry. You're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Awesome. Motion booths. Now here's what we use to convey story. These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Go ahead, step into one of them and feel the sheer power of narrative exposition. Only have two booths I could step in. Okay, despair or discovery. I want to spare. Where did these cliffs go? These crags that we stood upon, they shielded us from our own ignorance, spoke coddling words and wrapped our vulnerabilities in a woolen cloth that so many times I tried to set aflame. If I knew these comforts now, would their fibers be any more sensitive to the heat of my touch? Perhaps it was the cold I desired most of all. That empress to whom my flesh was always invisible. The hammock. There is a secret in the back. Really? I did see the hole in the wall. Uh, crouch. Crouch. Secret. Oh, shoot. I find it uneasy that the spare is green and discovery is red. Yeah, I... Hey, this is a demonstration. <laughs> um, cool secret. All right, let's do discovery. It was low and within the shame he carried that ocean breeze did drip. The fierceness of the tide, the inevitable impact <laughs> of their ignorance, washed the shore. There are more in this level. Martyrs devoid of a cause, ripping and tearing at the eternal... Gosh, the amount of work captain, Pixel put into this. It's scary. <laughs> this might be like the only, well, he did say it's not complete, but it feels like it's a complete full game. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> like the sound cues are just oh my gosh there's the question mark door compliments final choice did we go into every one i think yeah we went into emotions uh okay In every level is a secret. Open the door. Oh, okay. Well, awesome. Okay. Well, I have to go down there. <laughs> well, okay then. That door sucks. All right, <clears throat> the final two doors, I think. One of the most important parts of administering any demonstration is pumping up your ego and appealing to insecurities about your sense of self-worth. That's why we use this room to develop cheap compliments to shower on the player during the demo. <laughs> and press that button to see some of the superficial flattery we've been cooking up. All right, you ready? My heavens, I've never met someone who can consume as much uranium in a single sitting as you can. 
Just look at you go. <laughs> of all the people I know who are playing this exact demo at this exact moment and standing in this exact room, your performance is easily in the top 5,000. <laughs> 4,700 even. I won't go as far as 4,600. This game is great. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is embarrassing. I really in the back, there are more doors. Oh. You've really exhausted my list of compliments. Goodness, that was fast. That's all the compliments? <laughs> awesome. Either you or this department has a lot of room for improvement. Okay then, what's next? Oh man. Wall technology. Gosh, this is so awesome. Oh, hmm. Guess it's still in development. <laughs> okay, moving along. On the wall in this room is a secret too. Ah, dang! What's the secret? Do I have to press the button? I was gonna press it anyways, but all right, I'm pressing the button. Wait, what is this? Uh. <sighs> all right, I'm pressing the button. <laughs> I pressed the button, but nothing happened. In the compliment. Oh, hey. This is cool. This is pretty cool. Okay, so we found the secret in the this room, the wall technology. We didn't. Did I don't think we found anything in this. Or not, your inside a video game demonstration. Somewhere around here, there's also a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game. <clears throat> in the whole game. Oh my gosh. Damn. But you know what I really like about this? There's so much replayability, and this whole game that Pixel Tuner made. Like, you can't just play it once or twice. I don't think a lot of dream levels have anything like that. The replayability factor. Um. Okay. We're gonna go in this door. Please don't kill me. Hello? Oh, this is the compliments room again. But where's the secret? I don't remember seeing most of this. Is it a recreation at this point? My heavens, I've never met someone who can consume as much uranium. Secrets, secrets everywhere. Just look at you go. Of all the people I know who are playing this exact demo at this exact moment and standing in this exact room, your performance is easily in the top 5,000. Recreation plus my stuff that I add. I won't go as far as 4,600. Hmm. 
What is the secret? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey. Hey. Okay. Hey. Making progress. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. my list of compliments goodness that was fast either you or this department has a lot of room for improvement okay then what's next so did we go through every no i'm sure we have missed a bunch of secrets I'm gonna spend like all all day trying to find them. Now here's what we use to convey story. These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Go ahead, step into one of them and feel the sheer power uh -oh. of the narrative exposition. It thinks I stepped into the uh the emotions booth again. All right, let's pick up from where we left off. The final choice. Where is this gonna take me? Only Pixel knows. Ah, now this room is perhaps the most important you'll encounter in the demo. This is where we determine whether or not the demo has been effective, whether it's conveyed the wit and soul of the Stanley. No! What are you doing? You can't make that decision yet. You haven't played the demo. <laughs> but I want to Okay. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about how video game demos are made. <laughs> This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427. This is literally a full game. <clears throat> Jump out of the window. Can you do that? This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Gosh, even the model is so well done for Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever. You have to climb on the desk. Something he would never okay, let's do it. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. I have to, I have to say, this is like the best, Shocked, the best thing I've ever played in dreams. <laughs> like I, I Crash Bandicoot was up there Star Wars was up there This is the best I'm sorry Alright So Butter says I could jump out the window Um How would I get on the desk, though? Climb onto desk 434. Four, three, three. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho. Damn it. I think I fell. All right. Stanley. Stanley. 
What? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structure. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? What happens if I say no? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to... <laughs> so, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Gosh, this, this is incredible. Fine, this is it's, like this game has so much replayability. I gotta make sure I hit the right option. Uh, I don't want to quit the menu, I'm scared. Restart game. I, I think I hit the right one. I think. I hope. Please. Alright. Where are all my friends? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Friends? Co-workers? Do you have the thing for the door achievement? Gosh, Pixel. Maybe if I have some spare time. Okay. Let's go right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. You know it. <sighs> ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. This is cool. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. <laughs> so much lines of dialogue you had to just put into this game, you know. At this point, Stanley's obsession with it, but at last he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Don't tell me what to do. to wander about and get even further off track you know it so now in order to get back he needed to go um uh, 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 da, 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 da. from here it's um left oh no no it's to the right my mistake <laughs> Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? This is great. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. This way? This way. Right. 
which way was it? Yeah, this way. Got it loaded so fast. Freaking 40 parts. <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. We, we just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. <laughs> Oh, this is incredible. How did you, how?